What's going on, Doc and Fam, and welcome back to Oh the Hermanity. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing 100% rainbowed dreadful super fusion super saiyan 2 kefla now if you guys have been enjoying my videos be sure to go down show some love smash that like button and also don't forget to turn on video notifications so you never miss a new video upload from me all right so let's just jump right into here as always with my showcases we're going to do a nuke test first and then we're going to run her on a category team and the team that i like to put her on is a patora team so that's the team we're going to use but before we get into all of that, guys, let's just take let's just take one giant step back and see what this unit looks like before she's in her TUR form. So this is her right here. This is Tight Knit Fusion Fighter Super Saiyan Kefla. So she's not Super Saiyan 2, she's in Super Saiyan form. Now, believe it or not, this is actually still a unit that's worth rainbowing and keeping in the original form because you can run this Kefla as well as the TUR Kefla on the same team because this is a Super Saiyan Kefla and when she goes TUR, she's Super Saiyan 2. So keep that in mind as we go through these stats. Now, this Kefla is also Pator category leader. She's category key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 120%. She causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense, which is always good to have. And then for her passive skill, she changes int key spheres to fizz key spheres, and then attack and defense plus 10% per fizz key sphere obtained. So she has her own, not only does she change orbs to her own category, which is fizz, she gives herself her own buff. Now, this is where things get crazy. Medium chance to evade enemies attack including super attack and then she can also launch as an additional attack Which has a medium chance to become a super attack and this is just her before you TUR this unit now Let's check her out once she's TUR'd and this is her right here We just we just said her name dreadful super fusion super saiyan 2 kefla now she's Pator lead category key plus three HP attack and defense plus 150%. So she's 150% lead, guys. She causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense. And then now if you look down here at the passive skill, things start to change a tiny bit. She still changes in key spheres to fizz key spheres. But now, instead of 10% raise or 10% boost to her attack and defense, she has a 12% boost per key sphere obtained. She has a medium chance to evade enemies' attack, including super attack, and then she launches an additional attack, which has a high chance to become a super attack. And guys, this Kefla can launch up to three super attacks in a row. It is absolutely insane. So let's jump right in. Let's go back to the game. And one more thing before we start the nuke test, let's take a look at her stats real quick. So she has a lot of great link skills, um, but she can also be used in a Patora team. She can be used on a Peppy Gals team, and she can also be used in a Universe Survival Saga team, as well as obviously a Super Fizz. So she can be utilized on multiple teams, whether in her regular form or her TUR form. So definitely worth investing some orbs in here and as always for the nuke test um this is the nuke lead right here this is ascending of godhood super saiyan god super saiyan vegeta fizz type attack plus 33 percent per fizz key sphere obtained and then i'd like to give a special thank you to ac gaming for putting up his vegeta so i could have double nuke leads then we're also bringing a deborah cookie because this is going to put our nuking potential like over 9,000 guys it's absolutely insane and if we take a look really quick at what the deborah cookie does here we go so the Deborah Cookie randomly changes key spheres to Fizz key spheres and then attack plus 5% per Fizz key sphere obtained for one turn. So we're going to have a lot of buffs coming in the next few minutes. <laughs> so let's just jump right in. Now the goal would be to make it to Super Saiyan 4 Goku because we have type disadvantage. And I always like seeing what units can do when they're at a type disadvantage versus a type advantage, obviously. We know when it's a type advantage, they're gonna do crazy damage, but if we can get the disadvantage, well, that's a whole other story. All right, so it looks like we are going to have a junk first round. <laughs> All right, we'll get a trunk shot in there. Boom. 
Hopefully Goku doesn't do too much damage. Ah, half of our life is gone! Come on, don't kill me. Don't, oh no! <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, LR Gogeta. Can you block? We're gonna find out. Nope. We're dead. <laughs> Kefler is out. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, now it's munching that Debora cookie. And remember, randomly changes key spheres to fizz key spheres. Doesn't matter the whole board is. Attack plus 5% per Fizz Key Sphere obtained for one turn. Well, that's all we need. Devora cookie time. Here we go. And we got some health. We better not get super attacked is all I have to say. I will be pissed. <laughs> I will be so mad. Oh! We might. Please dodge. Dodge! <laughs> All right, we get to try it again. I guess this is a good time to mention that uh, we do have a Discord server, in case you don't know. <laughs> That's where I'm contacting all of you guys to help me with these Vegeta leads. Oh, she came out on rotation one, and on top of that, we have two nuke leads in here. Not that it matters, because it's only a leader skill. Um, I'm not going to take any chances. <laughs> as much as I want to put Kefla... In the middle, I do not want to take any chances with her dying. So, let's real quick. <laughs> AGL. Boom. STI. Boom. And then Fizz. And then Debora Cookie. Here we go. And now, you dead. <laughs> oh man guys i can't believe it took us this many times to get a kefler out and to do this let's go kefler show us what you got oh <laughs> let's see almost 18 million that's what you get goku for being such a douchebag and killing me three times in a row. Oh man, that was just insane. Let's see if we can get Kefler on the board again. If we do, that will be freaking sweet. Okay, here we go. Let's see. We actually might we actually might get her out again, to be honest with you guys. This could be a good run. Oh, yeah. As long as we kill Goku. Yeah, we'll be able to kill Goku with the first two. Super Vegito and regular Vegito will take him out. Oh, no, because we don't have the buff. We don't have the buff from the Patora lead. That's why the damage is in his hide. That's all right. As long as Kefla comes out, we're good. Nice. Oh, Vegeta's still not even dead. Yes! Yes! All right, here we go. All right, so we already saw how much damage she did to Goku. Let's see how much damage she can do to Vegeta. One more. And now a Deborah cookie. Thank you very much. As long as Vegeta doesn't do more than 99,000 damage, if he super attacks us, we're good. Oh, actually, no, uh, yeah. Let's see. But if he does super attack, maybe we'll dodge. We'll get a dodge. 
Yes! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Pesto, your Vegeta came in clutch. Ooh, 14.7 million! We get to see a double super attack. This is even better. Ah, 16 million damage. Wow. That Deborah cookie, we got two crits in a row. That, my friends, was some good nuking. Almost had a max of 18 million damage. Wow, that was just crazy. All right, Doc and fam, now that we had some fun with the nuke test, we're going to take Kefla for a ride on a Patora team. Now, this is what a Patora team should look like. This is how mine usually does look like. Uh, in fact, I'll often swap between Kefla or uh, a Merge Zamasu, depending on what I feel like doing. But obviously, we're showcasing Kefla, so she made it on the team. The only reason why I might not use her on my Patora team is because... You obviously want to have your leader as Super Int LR Vegito because this is the most powerful unit. You get HP and attack plus 170% and defense plus 130%. However, if you take a look once again at Kefla, her passive skill changes Int Key Spheres to Fizz Key Spheres. So that can sometimes uh, ruin the rotation if Kefla comes out as well as your Vegito and you want to launch an Ultra Super Attack. But we don't really care about that right now. All we care about is getting as much health and as much attack as possible. So this is the rotation that we're going to be doing. And this team does not die, as you guys know. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get Kefla in front of as much damage as possible to see what she can really do, all right? And anytime we get a rotation like this, we're just going to take we're just going to take out the boss as fast as we can. And in case you didn't notice, um, every single unit was rainbowed on this team. So all the attacks you're seeing, all the blocking you're seeing, these are all rainbowed units, so keep that in mind as you watch. They're not It's not a, a true showcase of the units, obviously. We're not doing the nuke test, but it can give you an idea of what to expect. All right, now this is great. So Kefla came out. We have the orb change, so we're definitely going to get a super attack off. And that's one of the benefits of the orb change. Not only does she dodge, not only does she do multiple attacks, but she can also ensure that her attacks, at least one of them, will be a super attack because she can change her own orbs. So it, it, it's very, very rare that Kefla will come on the board and not do a super attack. All right, girl, let me see. Now, as you know, when I do my units, as you guys saw, I always do additionals, and then whenever there's the opportunity to do crits, I do crits. That's how I do all of my units, and that's what you're seeing right now. Ooh, 688,000 wasn't even a crit. Wow, she took quite a lot of damage from Goku. Well, probably because of his type advantage. Still, 72,000 is not too bad. And Vegito is going to come in for the win. Awesome. And now we're going to move on to Gogeta. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to not launch special attacks so that we can do our best to save as much of his health as possible so for when Kefla comes out. You know, I probably shouldn't have put Vegito on the end. <laughs> you probably should have put him first. But that's okay. We got plenty of health. Damn! It was just a regular attack. All that damage. Oh, good. He's going to have Big Bang Kamehameha. It's going to do nothing. Look, 93. Did nothing. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is perfect. This is going to be a beautiful test for us, guys. Let's put her right in the beginning. We only need four, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Boom. And then I highly doubt he's going to survive um, what Kefla's about to dish out. But if he does, he's dead anyways. And then we can move on to the final stage for the Gogeta. Oh, we got a dodge. And then we get 1,700 damage. Now we're going to attack. I would love for you guys to see three attacks in a row. 352, not too bad. 
Are you not going to see three attacks in a row? Because she's going to kill him right now. I would like to see a crit, though. So 352. This one was 357. So we're doing about the 350,000 range on Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. All right, let's break this rotation up. Uh, you got too much key, bro. Okay, so if we do red, that should work for you. And we do a blue for you. And then we'll do a green for you. That works. Awesome. And then if we get Kefler on the next rotation, we're set. Ogina, your super attack can't do nothing. What's going to be five damage? 102. Oh, it was even lower. I was closer on my first guess of five. <laughs> that was crazy. Yes, Kefler is out. Oh, man, this is perfect. This is going to be, this is going to be perfect for the showcase. Thank you to the Dokken, to Lord Shugash for making this happen. <laughs> So we're going to see all kinds of attacks, and then we're going to see her attack, and then hope, well, he won't be dead. I know she's not going to kill him, but if she did kill him, that would be pretty freaking insane. Imagine she crits three times in a row. Ooh, get a dodge. Got another dodge. Got another dodge. <laughs> three dodges in a row, 86 damage. All right, now we're going to see what she eats. What she's going to eat for damage on this. Wow, less damage. She took 72,000 before. That was only 53. Whoa, 600,000. All right, now we're going to get one more super attack out of her. No, we didn't, but she did dodge. That was four dodges right there, guys. Three in a row. Barely took damage on that special attack by Super uh, by Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4. I would like to see a crit. Ah, oh, this is gonna be tough. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make him survive. This is gonna be tough. So if we do one here. If I, no matter what I do, we might as well just do this and then not get a super attack off on the last one. Maybe we can make it so that she comes around one more time. That was pretty cool. We got a dodge out of um, LR Vegito as well. Another dodge? He has zero additional dodges, guys. He just dodged twice in a row. Crazy. Not that he needs to. He takes zero damage. <laughs> he took 12 damage on that super attack before. All right. who? I didn't even pay attention. Who is he super attacking? Oh, wow. Here we go. 13 damage. Ooh, 98. Couldn't even break 100. Oh, she came out. She wants to play. All right, so the thing that sucks here is... Ah, oh, this sucks because Vegito will kill. Will kill. This might work. Okay, we're taking a chance. It's type advantage for Gogeta, so he should do ass damage for his counter. Thank you. Okay, here we go. All right, Kefla. Crit, 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 crit. Let's see the crit. Oh, no crit. 431,000 damage, though. Let's keep going. Let's go do one more rotation. Let's hit Sin Shenron. So I really want to see some crits coming out of her. This is unlike you, Kefla. Usually you do quite a bit of critting. All right, this is actually, <laughs> this is garbage right here. So let's just take care of Sin as fast as possible and get to a Sin Shenron, or at least get to a Mega Shenron where we can deal some devastating damage. Am 
on Vegito. Uh, what are you going to do? 200 damage? Ooh, actually did quite a bit of damage. That was not nice. Well, we might as well get Kefler out on the first rotation. All right, she'll super attack with this. And then if he's not dead, he's dead now. Oh, we get a dock and I wasn't even paying attention. All right, let's see if I can do it. I missed one. Damn mouse. All right, so we get a dock in mode. Let's see how much damage we can do. Minus one. Minus one number. Come on, come on, crit, crit, crit. 1.2 million, almost 1.3. Not too bad, Kefla. Nice docking, by the way. All right, let's see if we can get her out on this rotation. Ah, we'll do this. We'll do type disadvantage. Not that it really matters, <laughs> because... All these LR units are just insane, but maybe it matters a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. He'll never take any damage. 69,000, not too bad. All right. Ooh, 62. Was not expecting that. Okay, Vegito. Good blocking, and we got Kefla out again, and we got, looks like we got two attacks in the beginning that we can take advantage of. All right, let's get them orbs, and then why not, we'll just make sure we kill you <laughs> with Vegito. All right, I want to see a dodge. I want to see a crit. Ooh, 83 damage, not too bad. Nice, finally got a crit out of Kefla. One million damage. And that was her first attack. So she, additionally, she could have dealt over two million damage with her next two attacks if they were super attacks. All right. Okay, we can get one there. This is going to launch a super attack. This is going to launch a super attack as well. Uh, whatever. Okay, we'll just do this. As long as Int Vegito doesn't launch a super attack, we should be okay. Because he will kill Shenron very easily. Well, I guess so did he. <laughs> awesome. All right, so this is going to be it for Kefla. All right, we can't move Vegito. That's fine. Vegito might kill him. No, didn't kill him. If we need to get Kefla doing multiple attacks in a row. Kind of like Gogeta. Oh, another crit. 958,000. That was really good. All right, this is it, guys. Let's hope that we get a good rotation and we can get some more Kefla in here. But I think this has actually been a pretty good showcase. She does a lot of damage. She dodges a lot. She changes spheres to fizz spheres, gives herself super attacks. I mean, this unit is pretty freaking badass. Now, the only problem with this rotation is, <laughs> is that Vegito Blue has type advantage, and he might kill <laughs> Omega Shenron. So let's try to not make that happen. Oh, we'll do that. I uh, hope he doesn't die. I'm pretty sure we'll get Kepler out on the next rotation. I just don't want to kill him. Okay, good. Oh, come on. Don't do any additionals, guys. 
Leave it for your sister. <laughs> she wants to do some, some attacking on her own. Okay. As long as we have at least four or five bars of health left, we should be good. And this would actually be a nice test to end it on because there's no type advantage or disadvantage. It's fizz on fizz. Come on, Kefla. Yes! Yes. Okay. Ooh! Oh, wait. Did he just get locked in place? Are you kidding me? Oh, you suck. That would have been perfect for Kefla. Well, thank goodness we can do that. And then we'll do this. And then hopefully Vegito doesn't kill Shenron. Ah, Vegito's gonna take so much damage away from him. It doesn't matter whether you do a regular attack or a super attack, you're still gonna do under 100 damage, bro. Oh, wow, okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Yes, okay, this is good. Here we go, super attack. Crit, crit, crit. Fizz on fizz, 637,000. Oh, another crit, 132,000. That was really good, and we got a dodge. Well, that, my friends, that was a really great way to end the showcase on Kefla. We got two crits in a row. We got a super attack, we got a normal attack, and then we got a dodge. I mean, the only thing better than that, obviously, is getting multiple super attacks in a row. That was pretty crazy. So let's just go ahead. I mean, we could quit right now. Let's just kill him real quick, and then we'll get out of here. Yep, do your 10 damage. And now you're dead. 914,000 on type disadvantage. Very nice. All right, let's go back to the main menu, abandon quest, and let's just go over here really quick, guys, because check this out, right? You can use Kefla, like I said, you can put both of them on your team. So we're gonna go to Patora, Fizz, and there she is. And just to prove that it works, look, you have both Keflas on your team. So it's almost, if you get both of these units rainbowed, Obviously, the one that's not TUR isn't going to do as much damage, but the potential for everything else is there. Those dodges are crucial if you're having a hard time beating events. And this might be the solution for you to have two units that dodge and do additionals and change int spheres to fizz spheres. Basically, every other rotation on a super fizz team, if you run a super fizz team like this, you're going to be changing all those spheres to fizz spheres, which can become you know, really important if you're trying to launch super attacks, especially if you have other uh, super fizz LRs on your team like Trunks or Gogeta. So there's a lot of potential here, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, once again, please go down and hit that like button. And if you would like to vote for which unit you want to see showcase next, let's go to hidden potential. I was thinking, you know what? Let me give you a choice. I was thinking of either doing... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta next. Um, Khalifla next because I was going to showcase her before her TUR came out. I'm glad I waited. So I haven't I haven't done anything with her since the TUR. Um, and she's an amazing unit. As much as other people say she's not worth the orbs, it's bullshit. She is definitely worth the orbs. And then I guess for LRs with the, the world tournament coming, it would be cool to do a showcase of Rainbow LR Broly. So... Those are your three to choose from. Let me know down in that comment section below. I'm going to take all my Spirit Bomb luck, share it with all of you, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.